And our expert in elder law, Gary Price, is back with information you need concerning the Medicaid five-year look back. Good to see you as always. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year's to you. So why is this so confusing to people, do you think? You know, this is one of the areas where people think they know what it is. Every, uh, most people, they don't, I talk to them and they haven't heard a lot of things of what I'm telling them. But when I say about something about the five-year look back, I usually get a nod. It's a misconception nod 99% <laughs> of the time, but I do get a nod. Yeah, well, they've heard. They've heard. They've heard tell, as they they've say. They've heard bad things about the five-year look back. And so uh, an example would be you, you, you gift, you know, someone told them about the gift they can get, the gift tax exemption of whatever the number is, seventeen or $18,000 a year. And so they take advantage of that a year or two ago. And they then, no idea that Medicaid would be in their future or need for Mer Medicaid would be in their future. And now today it is. And, and they think, well, I just did that gift two years ago. I guess I can't qualify for Medicaid now for three more years. That's the misconception that if I gift, that five-year look back means I don't qualify for Medicaid for five years from the date I made that gift, and that is wrong. That is very wrong, and hopefully everyone hears that today. That it's, it is a myth and it a is misconception. A, it is a misconception. Don't wait. It may affect when you get Medicaid, but you will still be qualified for Medicaid well before the five years ends, unless the amount you gifted was just some, you know, seven figure number right. that Something. might have an effect. But otherwise, still move forward and ask questions and see just exactly, okay, you made a gift and we, we need to let Medicaid know of that, but let's find out what effect that actually will have and and 99.9 .9 of the time you will get qualified for medicaid well before the five-year period is is up so uh, the, if if the number is exorbitant i mean are, is there a is there a, a a boundary you cross is there a number or is it sort of a ballpark thing well the so there's a divisor and that divisor is approximately seventy two hundred dollars a month Okay. So if you multiply 7,200 times 12 times 5, that's your number. If you gifted more than that, then it's going to take more than five years. Uh, you know, then you will need to wait five. But if it's less than that, 72 times 12 times 5, whatever that number is, I've never done the math, but uh, or I may have once or twice, but I don't remember what the number is. It's a, lo it's a lot, <laughs> it's whatever a big it number. is. That's well, right. then you would be, I mean, if you didn't qualify for Medicaid, but you needed it, we're talking about out-of-pocket expenses, exorbitant out-of-pocket expenses. Good, yeah. And so a lot of times you go back to that person you gifted to and say, hey. <laughs> I need that back. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe I need, what do you got, what, what's left? I, I may need it. Right, right. Because well, most of the times, you know, it's a, usually a son or daughter or something like that where you where you made a gift. So yeah, sometimes we gift it back, no harm, no foul, right? If, if you can get it back, if you but can if you get haven't it back, used it or whatever. Right. So there, do you address this in the book, Gary? We do. Okay, we do. how do they get there? Yeah, you give my office a call, 812-475-8444. We send you a free copy. Thank you very much. Always interesting information. Thank we'll you. be back with more Lifestyles. Lisa Hoffman's here. Stay with us.